Hey guys, we're back with another What's Sold on eBay video. These are the days that we look forward to. I have like 22, 21 sales, something like that. A lot of bread and butter stuff, but over $670 worth of sales. Granted, keep in mind free shipping is a big part of that, so that doesn't mean that's all take home plus fees and everything. But if I'm selling 600 and something dollars a day, I am pleased. Super blessed. And we still have a couple hours left, so maybe we'll have some other sales come through. Not that we really need any more, but we will take them if we're going to get them. So let's go over it. One other cool thing about all these sales is that there's nothing really crazy. I think the highest dollar sale might be 70 bucks, somewhere around there, a couple in the 60s. So we got to that number without a huge, huge sale. So these are mostly items that I think you might be able to find out there. Not some rare one-off that you'll never have a chance of finding or super low chance at least this is stuff that you should be able to find or at least keep an eye out for and hopefully make some money so starting off lps have records have been one of my new things to sell i got a whole bunch of them from two different buys you haven't seen all the sales a lot of them happen before christmas and i apologize but this is genesis invisible touch this one wasn't one of the better ones but it's sold for 15 shipped it's going to go in a, a vinyl box that we have or whatever that are made for vinyl it's a little bubble wrap around it put it in there and it ships out for a couple bucks not too bad but um, some of the other vinyl I've sold, I've sold 40 50 even one I think went for 100 bucks. So some of them done really, really well. Thomas the Train, this is Daisy. You can kind of see on the bottom there. If you're looking for the name, you just look on the bottom. They usually have a name. The plastic ones a lot of times have the year as well. A lot of people um, wonder why I part out trains. This train is one of the reasons. It's sold for like 20-something ship, 28 ship for one little train. So if you buy a bundle of trains, look them up, find out which ones, what the name is what year it is if you can, and see if that one's worth some money. So 28 ship there. I think this is something Bell, some plush. Um, when I'm at a garage zone, I find random plush. If they look unique, anime looking, or something I just haven't seen before, I'll usually look them up. I couldn't find an exact match on this at first. I didn't use Google Lens or anything. It's only 50 cents, and I'm like, well, I'll grab it. it. Ended up being one that I think sold for like 25 shipped. I think it's some Eric Bell, or I don't know, some kind of anime, but 25 shipped on a little plush that's going to go first class. Um, here is a Splinter shirt. I don't know if it's rain or whatever. Maybe on the back you'll be able to see. It's got like a tiki design. You see on the screen. This one's over 38 shipped. It was a $3. Um, we well, had them listed for $3 at the estate sale. I ended up grabbing like four or five shirts, all Spooners, and they ended up, uh, so most of them are going to sell for probably around that $28 to $40 range, depending on which one you have. Look out for the ones that are um, sports themes. Those ones do really, really well. A little back, back girl. This is a Batman Unlimited figure. Has some wear on the card. Still, you know, still brand new. Hasn't been out yet, but I didn't list it as brand new, perfect condition. This one sold for twenty six oh nine on sale. We paid five bucks for it. Um, this one uh, probably took about three months to sell. It went on a sale and it finally sold. Shipping might still be first class. That one's super, super light. But even if it goes over a pound, there's still some profit there. Uh, you guys know I like to part things on, and we're going to see a couple different parts here. This is one of the better ones. This is a Panasonic uh, bread maker. You can see what I do with mine is I put the model number in masking tape. A lot of times bread maker pans look the same, so if you have a lot of them for sale, it's kind of get confusing. I use the masking tape because it seems to just come off the easiest without leaving any wear. So I just mark in Sharpie kind of what it is, stick it on there. It doesn't leave any stains or residue. Then I pull it off when we sell it. This one came out of a bread maker. It sold for 35 ship, whatever this is on the screen here. 35 ship, I think. That one, I took the paddle and the pan and separated them. Sometime I leave them together. Just depends on where the comps are or how things are selling. A couple other parting items. These ones are not so great. This is a Black & Decker shortcut. It's an older style one. It's a lid. This one's for like 10 or 11 bucks. It's a really old listing. Not a great picture. I wouldn't even list one this low anymore. I'd probably either list it higher and just hope that someone buys mine or try to put it with the bowl and everything and sell it as one unit. It's sold for like 11 bucks. It will go first class. It's pretty light. Usually I can ship these out for around five or six. That's not one of the ones you want to write home about though. Um, here's a shark. This is like a little shark duster one. Again, I get all these shark stuff. This one I think came in the free bin. It sold for $9 and some change. It'll go out first class as well, maybe for $4.50, 5 bucks to ship it. Easy money, and it's free. And I'm just I'm just too cheap to throw something like that out. Um, a couple other kitchen items that are pretty... This is one other one, actually. This is a Brelville Nespresso. These are the um, 
water or reservoirs or whatever, one for each side. Sold these for like 34 shipped. Uh, my friend that I buy from, he's a source, but now we're kind of kind of getting closer as friends. Um, he picks up a lot of stuff like that. A lot of times he'll find like old appliances that are broken or whatever, and he'll sell them to me for parts. I paid five bucks for the unit. I sold just those two parts for 34 some ship. They're going to ship out around priority mail, eight or 10 bucks, something like that. And we're good to go. I think I got a couple other parts off that one as well. So definitely can make money parting stuff out, guys. That's five bucks into 34. Even if we sell a couple more parts, we're five into probably 50 bucks. Nothing wrong with that. A couple of video games. Tekken 4 sold for like $10.79 for PS2, whatever you see on the screen. It was on sale. So did Siphon Filter. It also sold for around $10.79 for PS1. I think this one was from the Hirsch deal as well. I'm not sure, though. But um, that one, uh, again, sold on sale or whatever for $10.79. Mario is Missing for Super Nintendo. This one sold for like $17 shipped. When I had that Ninja Warrior game, which was another video I did, didn't get a lot of views on it, but it was a rare video game. It sold for like $125. I also got this one in that same buy for $40. Mario is Missing for $17. couple things that I don't have here that I want to show you guys because a couple of them are pretty cool. One is a pair of New Balance shoes. You'll see on the screen here. It's a uh, pair of men's New Balance. I don't know if it's size 14. It's a huge size, plus it's like extra, extra, extra wide. So definitely a unique size. Got it for 5 bucks. Looks almost brand new, but there's a couple of marks. Probably from trying it on and wearing it around a little bit. But they sold for a best offer of 50 shipped in a day or two. Happy with that. It's going to ship out for 10 12 bucks, somewhere around there. Maybe a little less if it's going closer, but I'm happy to get rid of it. I also sold a pair, a set of Lionel... Um, metal three rail tracks this is o gauge i got a bunch of this track i had it in my death pile and now that we're moving stuff in here i'm like you know what? i gotta finally list that so i pulled the train out it was actually a bunch of different trains track different transformers all kind of mixed in together took all the line l train listed it 29 pieces and it sold for a best offer of 70 ship i think it's going global shipping program as well which i'm happy with i think i'm in the whole train set for around 40 or 50 bucks i'm gonna make all my money back on the track plus i still have Probably another $300 worth of stuff I just lifted, so pretty cool. And then one other thing I think I don't have with me is a set of weights or two 10-pound weights. Um, they sold for like 35 ship. They should fit in, I think, a medium flat rate, if I'm not mistaken, if not a large flat rate. I got them for a couple bucks at a garage sale. I got them right before, after kind of the quarantine thing was going on and people were buying weights. They kind of came in a little late. They finally sold on the best offer of 35. Happy to just move them out. Back to what we do have in front of us. Uh, big audio dynamite CD. I think we all listened to this growing up. One of our probably our classics here. I have no idea what this even sounds like, but it's all for 10 shipped. Uh, basically on CDs, I don't really care what the music is for the most part. As long as the CD has some value, I'll list it. That one sold for 10 bucks. Uh, a pair of boots. Good brand to look out for. Probably can see that little Ariat logo there. These are women's Ariats. I don't know what size they are. Whatever it says on the screen, I'm not going to spend the time looking it up. These were 5 bucks at a garage sale late in the day, just sitting out there below the table. I walk up. The guy says, hey, 5 bucks, you can have them. They're in pretty good shape. Definitely used, but life left. Took a best offer of 60 today to ship them out. So happy with that. Happy to move out them. And again, I'm only in them for 5 bucks. I am going to start taking some of that. I'm going to order some of that uh, Doc Martin, like whatever the balm is they have. I want my... Good friends, uh, Parrot Head Picker, Andy over there, he did a little thing on Instagram showing the difference in shoes or whatever. He knows his stuff, man, and it gets cleaned up nice. So I'm going to start using that on some of these leather boots, see if we can make them look a little better. But still got 60 on those. An old skateboard here. It's got a really cool graphic. It's just beat up. Oh, you guys can't even see it. It's Sector 9, and it's got this nice, like, beach logo there with, like, the wagon. This one was a couple bucks at a garage sale. No, it was 10 bucks at a garage sale, actually. Now I remember. And um, the guy said, hey, the board the, the board itself is worth 100 And I'm like, I don't think so. I bought a bunch of stuff, threw it in the pile, and I got it for 10 Took a best offer of 45 shipped on it. It's going to Mississippi. It's pretty light, though. I'm thinking shipping is probably going to run me around 20 bucks or less, somewhere in there. So I'm not really going to make a whole lot, but it sat for a long, long time. The smarter person would have took off the trucks and just listed the board. That would have saved a little bit on weight and probably easier to pack. Um, but it's okay. We're going to get out of here. Don't shy away from skateboards this one wasn't really a good one to look out for the board's not too the board's beat up on the uh, the other side that's part of the problem but look out for certain unique decks if you can find a really cool colorful bright one from the 80s 90s or whatever some of those have some good value a yearbook colton high 2001 not too far away from me here in california a couple uh like a county or two over or whatever it is but it's uh 2001 it's all for 35 ships so 
not too bad. Uh, I think I listed for 50 or something like that. I usually list my yearbooks 45, 50, 55, somewhere in there. I put best offer. I'm usually looking to get 20, 25 plus. If someone offers 35, there's no need to counter. They can have it. I'm probably only in it for a couple bucks. We also have a, a photo album here, just beautiful. Actually, the cover is kind of weird, but it's got a bunch of like, uh, not the feather there, but a bunch of like photos and stuff. Actually, I should be careful with the feather and check where it's going. I might have to pull that out. Um, I know I didn't put it in the photos. I didn't even know there was a feather in there, but you got to be careful sometimes with feathers and like animal stuff. But uh, this is one that has mostly a safari from like the 80s. It's someone that went to Africa. I forgot what area, but they did a safari. And there's a bunch of photos of different stuff. I got like 13 different photo albums of all places around the world this person had traveled to. And um, they were just, the person was going to throw them away. So I grabbed them off for a hundred bucks plus two very high end cameras. One sold for like 150, one sold for like 60. I guess the 60 hour one isn't too high end. But either way, um, I, I was mainly paying for the cameras. And these were kind of the throw in for the deal. This one sold for $45 shipped. I've sold two other ones for around 40 bucks. So we're at 120 or so just in those photo albums. And we have like 10 more to go. Will they ever sell? Who knows? But we've made some money. Hopefully they go to someone who can use the photos or put them to good use. There's not a lot of personal stuff. It's mostly photos of the area. It's not a lot of like family photos and stuff like that. So there's that. And then we have a backgammon set. This is, I forgot what brand it is, but this is a cool looking backgammon. I mean, you can see this is a cool cover right here. Um, this one you'll see on the screen with the inside. It looks great. It's all for 65 shipped. I'm in it for five bucks. I bought three backgammon sets for 15 bucks. The guy wanted 10, he wanted 25 for all of them. I'm looking at him. I'm like, I don't know. And he goes, how about 15 for all of them? I'm like, yeah, sure. The other two sold for like 50 and 45 right before Christmas. And oh, 40 and 45 right before Christmas. And then this one sold for um, 65. So an awesome deal. Backgammon sets do well. Make sure they have all the little pieces. I think it's supposed to be 15 and on each, if I'm not mistaken. But funny thing about this one, quick story. Sorry, it's going to go long. But this one, um, the backgammon said, right before Christmas, someone messaged me and said, hey, my backgammon said has a big tear in it. It's not the condition you described. You said it was brand new and I want my money back. And I'm like, I sold some backgammon sets, but none of them had a tear. And I'm like looking through. Them, I'm like, no, no. And then I realized the lady messaged me about this particular one, which I did not sell to her. She ended up, I guess, buying it from someone else, but she had watched mine. So she messaged me on mine and said, hey, I want my money back. And I'm like, well, I can't help you. And she goes, no, I, you, I bought it from you. I want my money back or I'm going to file a claim. I'm like, ma'am, you didn't buy this unit. It's still for sale on eBay. You must have bought it from someone else. Probably 10, 30 minutes after that second message to her, she says, oh, I'm so sorry. And then that was it. And she had actually uh, apparently figured out what her problem was. So funny story. Either way, sold for 65 shipped. Great deal on that. I think that's everything right now, guys. We're at 12 minutes. I'll probably have another clip, though, for tomorrow, so it might go a little long, but I appreciate you being here. Hopefully, your sales were great today, and we'll see you in the next clip. Hey, everyone. We are back with the sales for Thursday, so this should be a continuation of yesterday's sales, which was an awesome day, and today is another great day. No complaints here. I think 13 sales, not as many as yesterday, but a couple of higher dollar ones. We're still, I'm sure we're pushing over the $500 mark or somewhere around there, which if I'm there every day, I'm happy and definitely Definitely blessed with that many sales and that kind of dollar amounts. So let's go ahead and get into kind of what sold today. So we have the Disney Magazine, Walt Disney 25th Anniversary. This is from the Rock and Roll Buy. Oddly enough, there was a lot of other weird stuff in there. This was one of those things that didn't really go with the rest of the theme. It sold for around 10 ships. Not a whole lot there. Whoops, sorry. I bumped the camera. That one should sell probably for, or should ship probably first class for 5 bucks, 4 bucks, something like that. We won't make a ton. Here's a little Build-A-Bear. It's like a little couch. And it like folds out so into like a bed, I guess. This one was five bucks at a garage, so I bundled it with another item here. So I ended up spending like 15 for both, uh, or 10 for both. Sorry, I figured I really probably would have put less into this. It's all for 25 shipped. I didn't look it up, but the other item ends up being pretty cool, so you'll see that one here. But 25 shipped on that, you'll see on the screen. It may go first class, just put in a poly miller. We'll see. A couple other smaller ones, and then we'll get into some bigger stuff. Here's a zoom bait hat. I have like four or five of these. They're brand new with tags. They were Walmart clearance, I guess. I got them from the Hirsch buy, so you'll see on the screen. Sold for 15 shipped. I think I have a quantity of three or whatever set up, and I'll add. I found a couple more when I was going through other stuff. And here's a Trina CD. It's called Diamond Princess. This one ended up selling for, I think, 12 shipped from one of the CD buys we had. So, again, CDs, 
not that exciting all the time, but easy money coming in. Here's an NHL jersey. It's an Anaheim Ducks. Um, it's the newer style one. You'll see on the screen, I forgot what player it's for or whatever it is, but it's sold for a best offer of 70 sh 77 shipped. I got that from Storage Unicai. It'll probably end up going in a padded flat rate. You probably notice uh, the stack of VCRs here. There's like seven of them. There were eight or six of them. There were uh, seven because we sold one today, a Panasonic. These Panasonic ones do pretty well, the PV V4021. I have three Panasonic ones in there, oddly enough. This one sold for 68 shipped. It appears to be a drop shipper based on what I got in the message, so pretty good there. I think I'm in it for five bucks, $68. I found the Panasonic ones are pretty reliable. A lot of times they work, and if they don't work, I open them up, kind of get, use a little air duster, kind of get them cleaned out, check the heads, make sure they're clean inside, and usually that's enough to get them working, so... 68 shipped on that. I would imagine it's going to cost 14 to $20 to ship it out. Two plush. Some people might remember these. I think from Despicable Me, if I'm not mistaken, or Minions, one of them. These little guys were, I think, 7 bucks for the pair at a thrift store. They were, I think they were like $7 each, but they were half off, so we got them for 7 and I don't think we paid any tax. They ended up selling for $40 shipped for the both of them. They'll probably cost... Eight or nine bucks to ship out. They won't go first class, but they're pretty cool. I had to pick them up and I figured I'd lock them together. Here's some fix it in. We've been selling this stuff like crazy. This is actually a four pack going out. Here's two of them. Got these for 50 cents each. So we're two bucks in for that thing um, for the package and we sold them for 25 shipped. They end up shipping out in a padded flat rate. They just go over a pound. So a little bit on the higher end for the price, but 25 shipped on those is awesome. Again, we're only in them for two bucks. I think we probably have enough to do three or four more of those sales, and then we'll be all out. So definitely sad to see those ones go. I'm happy to make the money, but I'm sad to see us running out. A cool item here, this is a Flowbee. So you guys probably can't see it, it's upside down. It's a Flowbee. It does work. I got three or four of these from the Hirsch buy, and um, I listed two of them a couple days ago. It comes with the power cord and a few of the little attachments. There's like four or five attachments you'll see on the screen. I listed two of them already, though, because they worked out. I cleaned them up nice. The other one needs a little more cleaning, and the other one I need to find another power cord for it. The one I have isn't working, but yeah, we got four in total. But the two that I did have that were nice and cleaned up, this one sold for one thirty ship. These things were doing awesome, even higher prices, I think, uh, right when quarantine happened. But the prices are still pretty high. One hundred and thirty bucks is easy shipping on this one. Ten to twelve bucks. It's not really that heavy. Just gotta find a box and kind of bubble wrap it up, but. Pretty good deal there and really easy to test out. You plug it in, you turn it on, you'll see the little blade thing kind of go back and forth. And I think you can feel the suction or whatever on it. So definitely a good deal there. Hopefully we'll sell the other one pretty soon. Here's a Lionel train. You guys may have seen the train tracks I sold yesterday. I listed the tracks, some trains, and a bunch of transformers. This one sold for 30 bucks, sold within a day or a day and a half or whatever. It goes out in a pad of flat rate. So really blessed with that one. Easy sale. Here is, and they have model numbers, they're really easy to look up. I have a bunch of these Disneyland coins, you can't really see them, but there's like a whole bag full. This was even more full than this. I spent $5 on this whole bag. It was full of these and a bunch of like uh, Mardi Gras, the blooms or whatever they are, I don't know. But they're like a bunch of those. I sold all those in one big lot, and then I've been selling off these Disney coins in lots of five or whatever, four or five, whatever it says. Someone bought two sets for 17 ship. They ship out first class. When this is all said and done... We're probably going to end up with two, three hundred dollars worth of these coins that I've sold over time. So it's been awesome. Not the quickest seller, but people every once in a while come through and buy them. So those multi quantity listings, just like the fix the dent, are very, very nice to have because you put the effort in one time. Before you know it, you've you know made a bunch of money off just one listing. You still have to ship them, but to me, shipping's the fun part because that means I made money. So listing is the part where it kind of is a little bit of a drag sometimes couple other items. This is a, I have to read it here, Heimat work. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this little thing here. You can kind of see it's very nicely painted or whatever. Got this from Savers for like $2.99. I'm not an expert like Kat, the nurse flipper. She's the one who knows about the pottery and different kind of breakable ceramic stuff, all kinds of stuff. She's got a great eye and has learned a lot and definitely can teach a lot if you watch her channel. So check her out. Um, I saw, it just looked cool to me. I looked it up. I saw some people were selling some periodically. So I listed mine for like 75, 80 bucks just to see because there were none exactly like mine at the time. Took a best offer today of $65. It's been up for probably five to six months. So definitely not a quick seller, but we'll double box it, get it out of here. I'm assuming 10 bucks, 11 bucks to ship it. And I'll be happy with that. On most of my breakables, guys, I do double box. 
Um, even though it sometimes can add to the shipping, most times it does. I just don't want to take a chance of it breaking. I've seen too many people send something with bubble wrap in one box, but it breaks. And when I double box, I seem to have at least a better chance. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but it seems to increase the odds of it making it there safely. So definitely something I'm going to keep doing. And here is another one of the bigger sales. This is a Bose. It's an outdoor environmental speaker. Sorry for the weird thing there. This one's dirty though. You can see dirt. I try to clean it up, but even the Magic Eraser doesn't really do a good job on it. I got this for five bucks when I got that Build-A-Bear. And a bunch of other stuff, but I, the one guy made me a deal. He goes, I'll give you five on the Bose and five on the um, Build-A-Bear little couch thing. I'm like, fine, I'll take it. Well, I knew this was worth at least a hundred bucks. That's exactly what it sold for was a hundred. It also included one other Bose speaker, the other outdoor one. It's a set of two, but it doesn't have the screen. The front screen there. So I listed that separately. It does. They both work. I tested them out with the stereo I have at my father-in-law's house. Tested them out. They both work beautifully. It's just missing the uh, the grill gate thing in the front. So I ended up listing that one separately for a lot lower price. We'll see if someone wants to jump on it or maybe there's a gate or a screen or whatever they can put on there and make it work. But 100 bucks on this one. Shipping will probably be, I'm going to say, less than 20 bucks to ship it out. It's pretty compact. I don't know if it'll be a pirate shipper or not. But either way... Um, I'm happy with that for only five bucks. And they're really easy to test. You just hook up the speaker wire. My father in law has a stereo. I'm going to get one. And I actually have one to put in here to set up. And you just plug this, uh, the two speaker wires in the back, turn on the radio, and boom, you listen to it. You'll hear some kind of, if you hear like some kind of crackling or something, make sure the wires are in nice. But if you hear some obviously real distorted sound, chances are something's probably going on. But this one worked well. $100 shipped on that. Bigger item, had to do a little testing, but definitely worth it. The funny thing was someone had this in their hand at the sale. I, of course, saw it. And I'm like, dang, he picked that up. Then all of a sudden I see it on the ground and I'm like, wait a second. So I grab it, ask the guy. And I'm like, he probably, maybe it doesn't work. And that's why he put it down. The guy goes, no, it does work. Both of them work. And he pulled me the other one that didn't have the screen on it. And I said, okay, well, how much? And he goes, just five bucks for that and five bucks for the couch. We'll call it a deal. And I said, okay, so... Funny, that guy left it. We'll take the money. Some people don't want to deal with it or whatever. Maybe because the other one was broken. He didn't want to. But that is... Oh, and then I sold a Forza game. I don't think you guys saw that. That was yesterday. Hopefully, I'll put the screenshot here. It was like a $9 game or something. So just so we're upfront and honest with all of our sales, that one sold for 9 But I think that is it, guys. If anything else comes up, it may be in this video or it may just fall into the weekend sales. But I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Hope your sales are doing well. And we'll see you in the next one. Take